Ah, yes, another day, another morning of sleeping past my alarm. I was supposed to wake up at 9 a.m. today to attend a 9.30 lecture, but it's currently 10.30 a.m., which means I missed my lecture and will just have to watch it later. After I eventually get out of bed, I open my windows and I look outside and realize we're still in lockdown here in Canada because of the COVID-19 pandemic. I've got a lot of things to do today, especially since the school term I'm in right now is about to end and the deadlines have been piling up. Before I get to catching up to school, I'll brush my teeth, have a little bit of breakfast. Today I decided to make myself a healthy protein smoothie and have some cereal. Although I got a late start to the day today, I decided I'll do my schoolwork later and I should work out right now. When the pandemic began in March of 2020 and we were forced to go into lockdown here in Canada, I decided to build a small gym in my basement with the essentials like a power rack, bench, pull up bar and a set of rings. With school and preparing for job interviews taking a large amount of my time, I've only been working out 3 or 4 times a week recently. Today I'm doing an upper body workout. I started off with bench press to work on my chest, then weighted pull ups to work on my back, then shoulder press and some ring rows. Finally, I ended off my workout session with some tricep dips and bicep curls, really just focusing on working every muscle in my upper body. With the workout now done and I'm finally starting to feel a little more productive despite the late start this morning, I go in for a quick shower, get a quick change of clothes, and sit on my desk to catch up on the lecture that I missed this morning. As I sit down, I immediately start procrastinating and my brain reminds me of a bunch of errands I need to run. I realize that I forgot to grab something that I will need when filming a video later for my final year engineering project that I'm working on at the moment, but more on that project a little later in the video. After my errands are done and I have now bought this really cool gimbal, it's now 1pm and I decide it's time for me to stop procrastinating and get some work done for school. For the next couple of hours, I watch a few pre-recorded lectures from my biomechanics course at 2x speed of course. Then I have a quick look at my calendar and my course deliverables here to see what exams or assignments I have coming up. I see that I have an engineering biomechanics assignment due on the 22nd of March and a quiz coming up on the 27th of March for a course I'm taking on the engineering behind HVAC. Right now with my university studies being entirely virtual, it can get really easy to forget what I have to be working on and all the deadlines coming up. So I create a list of all my deliverables here so I can keep track of everything I need to do. Another thing I've been doing during online school is that I stopped going to lectures live. Back when school was in person, I would never miss a lecture unless I absolutely had to. As an extroverted person, it was a great way for me to meet new people, make some friends, and even talk to the professor. But now, I just watch the recorded lectures, and to be honest, I have no idea what the names of some of my professors are or what they even look like. After I finished watching my biomechanics lecture, I started working on the assignment, which is due in a few days. Uh, this assignment basically consisted of me creating a PowerPoint presentation about the engineering behind a disease known as osteoarthritis. With the assignment now out of the way and completed, it's now 3pm and I remember that I have a job interview in 30 minutes. This interview is for a mechanical design engineering position and it's supposed to be a technical interview. So I quickly have a look at some of my interview notes before the interview. Although the interview was supposed to start at 3.30pm, the interviewer showed up 10 minutes late. I was being interviewed by three different people and they asked me about my resume, my design experience, and a bunch of technical questions regarding material science. We wrap up the interview at 4.30pm and I realize that I've been sitting at my desk for 4 hours straight and I remember it's probably a good time to move and do some mobility exercises. I then spend the next 30 minutes procrastinating and watching some random YouTube videos. This always happens. After being productive for a few hours, my brain just has to make me procrastinate. As I am in my fourth year of engineering, I am currently working on my final year engineering capstone design project. I'm working on this project with a few of my friends and will be heading to my friend's basement to film a video of the project in a couple hours. This video will be presented to my professors and a bunch of other engineering professionals. The teams with the most innovative or technical project can win money, so fingers crossed my team and I win something. The project we're working on is called Happy. The goal of Happy is to turn your washroom into a smart washroom. It does this by collecting bio data in your urine before it is flushed away. This data includes the presence of STIs, UTIs, kidney stones, diabetes, or dehydration. With this information, Happy can tell you if your vitals are normal or if you need to see a doctor soon. However, before I go and film the video with my team, I realized that there are a few things in the project that need some fixing. So I grab the project and I spend the next hour finalizing the prototype by organizing the wiring, connecting our sensors, and adding the tubing that will be used to transfer the urine into this little analysis chamber. With the project now in decent working shape, I hop into my car and drive over to my friend's house to start filming the video. Stay tuned till the end where I'll show you the final video I made about our project. Also, my team and I made sure to comply with COVID-19 guidelines when meeting up to stay safe. 
On my short drive there, I listened to this podcast called Colin Samir Show, where they interview a YouTuber by the name of Arak, who apparently went from zero to one million subscribers on YouTube in just one year. It's honestly quite inspiring, and I'm using it as motivation to keep creating consistently on YouTube. I got to my friend's house around 6 p.m., and he immediately makes me sanitize my hands. As I mentioned earlier, the project collects data from your pee right before you flush the toilet using a small toilet attachment. The toilet attachment will analyze the otherwise wasted pee to tell you more about your health and give you the tools you need for early disease detection and prevention. I filmed some scenes of my friend walking into the washroom getting ready to use a toilet and some shots of the device actually working and doing what it's supposed to be doing. When filming how this project works, my team and I decided not to use actual pee in the demo so things don't get too messy. So for ethical reasons, water with yellow food coloring was used for the project demo. It was honestly a really cool experience seeing something that you spent months working on, designing, building, and testing actually come to life and somewhat work as expected. But of course, like any engineering project, we ran into some technical difficulties while filming, so we worked on debugging these issues. Luckily, it didn't take too long and we got right back to filming. We wrapped up filming the video around 2 a.m., so we basically spent the last 8 hours working on this and we were all pretty exhausted at this point. I got home around 2.20 a.m. and although I was really tired, I somehow convinced myself to watch an episode of Money Heist on Netflix before I go to bed as a reward to myself for such a productive day doing schoolwork and job interviews. I just finished season 1 and I can't wait to see what happens next. And before this video ends as promised, here's a glimpse of what my final year engineering capstone video looked like after it was filmed and edited. You enter your washroom as you normally would, and analysis begins with the touch of your finger. As you get ready, you receive a warm welcome from Happy with a snapshot of your health summary. Urine begins to collect immediately. and within seconds you have a detailed image of your health. Based on your urine, Happy will provide you with your hydration levels, how many times you pee today and how long it's been since your last washroom visit. It will also provide a history of your hydration and pH levels and end off by telling you how many cups of water you should drink and if your pH levels are normal or if you need to see a doctor soon. Once you're done, the system automatically cleans itself and flushes out all toxins ready for your next visit. Happy tracks your health every day so you can focus on the things that matter. It's innovative, smart, and non-intrusive. Happy, the future of smart bathrooms.